everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having an amazing day so far so as most of you know i have just finished my freshman year at yale university and before i left i filmed a dorm tour of my room and i actually already have another dorm tour on my channel even though i'm only a freshman and normally you only have like one dorm in your freshman year you just have like one dorm room per year but because of covid i actually had three dorm rooms this year which is very unusual never happens um but it did happen this year so i do have another dorm video um dorm tour video already on my channel so you can go check that out as well if you want to it's probably a little bit better than this one but in this one i am like in a in a good mood not that i wasn't in a good mood in the other one but just that like i'm in a I'm in a better mood in this one. If I'm being honest, I'm just trying to film this intro really quickly because I have this really good burrito bowl next to me which just arrived and I want to eat it. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, I'm a freshman at Yale. I'm in Morse College and this is what my dorm looks like in spring semester this year. Very quickly before we get into the dorm tour, I just want to say if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome. I've been filming YouTube videos for almost four years now and I've got over 200 videos on my channel and in the past year I've been filming and vlogging my entire college experience and I'm going to continue to do that for the next three years of my time at Yale. So after this video is over, I would love it if you could go and check out some of my other videos and if you could subscribe, please do subscribe if you think you'll enjoy my content because that means a lot. I'm trying to reach 100,000 by the the end of the year so if you could help us get there that would be amazing all right so if you are a regular viewer of my channel you know we love a good voiceover i don't do voiceovers very often um but when i do <laughs> sometimes they get very interesting anyway so yes this is like my suite at yale so as you can see there on the right there was a bathroom and then we enter here we have like a common room with a table and chair and there's an extra bed in the common room that we would like use as a couch then we have some fridges and microwaves if you know you know and here is my beautiful dorm room. So as we open the door and take a first kind of overview of the room, you might notice that there is two of everything. So there's two beds, two desks and two wardrobes. And the reason for this is because this is a double room. Um, so it's normally meant for two people. But because of COVID, everyone got a single room this year. So there was just one person per room. So this room would normally have two students living in it together. But because of COVID, it was just me. So lucky me, I got two beds two desks two wardrobes um and it was a pretty good time okay so starting the official room tour we start from this very exciting very interesting corner of the room which is basically just where I put my chargers um I have lots of you know chargey stuff because I have to have all these converters to go from like the Australian powerpoint to the American one all of that kind of stuff and then we have my desks so this desk is the one where I did all my work so under here it's very messy um it's not normally like this but I filmed this video like the day before I was moving out so everything was just a bit disorganized um but I would keep like normally my notebooks and my textbooks and stuff in there and then on the desk we have hand sanitizer because COVID um and then in the other corner of the desk we have a little walrus because like I mentioned I'm in Morse College and and the walrus is like the mascot of Morse College. Then moving over to the other desk, this is the clearest and most clean I have ever seen that desk look. Normally it had like lots of stuff on it. I would just kind of like dump stuff on that desk because I didn't really use it for anything. Um, so yeah, normally it didn't look like this, but you know, I made it look nice for the video. And then uh, yeah, you open this and I would keep kind of like more personal stuff in that side of the desk. And then for decoration on this desk, I have a fake plant. I have three fake plants actually. Um, then I have like a jewelry stand again normally that would have a little bit more jewelry on there and I don't know if you caught a glimpse of it but that was like my COVID vaccination card on there as well because if I didn't put it like somewhere like that I would probably lose it which wouldn't be a good thing um, and then I had like a photo on my desk and this was the view out of my window into Morse Courtyard which I thought was really pretty um, and then we go over to this they do not look this orange in real life. I'm not really sure what my camera is doing to these fairy lights, but this is my fairy light and photo wall. And then we have the whole kind of bed area with the Yale banner and my bed and everything. And in my last dorm tour, I linked a lot of the like items that you see in this room, like the fairy lights and the banners and the pillows and everything. I got most of them off Amazon. So if you go and watch my last dorm tour after this one, um, you can find some of these items linked if you're interested in specific items. Um, but the fairy lights look a little bit weird and the reason for this is because I was filming my documentary for one of my classes. If you have been watching my vlogs, you'll know. Um, but I was 
filming my documentary with the fairy lights as a background. And so I had to put like specific photos in specific places to make it look good on like in the frame for the documentary. But then it looks weird now when it's just like this. But anyway, um, oh, well, all good. So yeah, as you can see, I'm showing you how my fairy lights work. Look at that very advanced technology. Um, and then we got to my Yale banner, which I put like I used command hooks to like keep on the wall and they came off and they didn't rip off any of the paint which is what you want when you're in a college dorm and then we have my bed and my lovely bedding which came from OCM which is like this kind of college bedding and essential kind of stuff website um, I'll link it in the description box we've got my nice fluffy rug also came from OCM and then we go over to my second bed which is a luxury that like you hardly ever get at college. Um, well, you never really get unless it's a COVID, a COVID year, which is unfortunate. But the positives, the one positive of doing Zoom University the past year has been getting a second bed. Was it worth it? No. But yeah, you know, I'll take what I can get at this point. I never really sat on this bed, but it just kind of sat there and looked nice. And then under the bed, I had a lot of storage. So I just stored like all of my boxes and stuff there. It didn't look very aesthetic. It would have been nice if I had something that I could like cover that up with. But oh well, you know, it did the job. Um, and then we have my tripod and my ring light and everything down there just shoved in that little gap. And then we have my two wardrobes, which was great because I have quite a lot of clothes. Well, I don't know. See, the thing is, okay, I probably do have quite a few clothes, but I feel like I don't have like there's there would be people who would have more clothes than me and the thing is as an international student I need to have like both summer and winter clothes here because I don't go home between the seasons anyway it was great to have two wardrobes because I could actually like fit all my clothes in there I definitely couldn't have fit them all into one um so this is what they look like you know just some space to hang your clothes and some drawers to fold your clothes it's a very typical wardrobe oh and we are going to look in the other one again like I said I was moving out the next day so these would normally look a lot neater and they would just look a lot different I was kind of like trying to organize things by what I was going to bring home and what I was going to like leave at college so yeah this is not how it normally looks but I would recommend getting some of these hanging things I got all of these off Amazon if you feel like that's something you need at college but like I said in my last dorm tour video I would recommend waiting until you get to college and waiting until you see your dorm room and see what storage is available there before you decide to like buy any extra so storage solutions like this and there are all my toiletries looking very messy and disorganized and then we move over to a very random corner of the room. Um, we have all my running shoes because I'm a runner. Um, so I have many pairs of running shoes. We have my shower shoes. And then we have my little shower caddy, which I also got from Amazon. Um, and it's got all my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, all of that good stuff that you need in there. Um, and then we've got my laundry baskets. Oh my gosh, I love these. I think these are so cute. We've got the light. We've got the dark. It's just very aesthetic. That's what I was dreaming of my college room looking like. I was like, yes, I'm going to have a laundry baskets like that. And then on the hook on the back of the door, which was already there when I got to the room, I would just hang my towel. So yes, that is my dorm room from this semester. And this was like a really nice room. The rooms in Morse College are very nice. Unfortunately, next semester, I'm going to be an old campus, which is going to be not so nice. Um, and I will do a dorm tour again next semester. So if you want to see that one, make sure to subscribe and you can see all of my future college videos. All right, so that is what my dorm room looked like. Now, if you did watch my other dorm tour, you will see there were like more photos and decorations in that one, but I just couldn't really be bothered to put them up this semester. I kept meaning to, but I kept like procrastinating from doing it. I was like, I'll do it next weekend. And then before I knew it, I was moving out. By the way, if you want to watch my move out vlog, that will also be linked up here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I thought it was kind of cool because I had like two of everything this semester. Like two beds, two cupboards, two desks. Because it was like a room for two, but it was only me in it. Um, so that was kind of nice. Um, probably won't happen. No, definitely won't happen next year. Um, but yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe down below because I've been making YouTube videos for almost four years and I have so many on my channel and they're not stopping anytime soon. I shared my whole freshman year experience 
through many, many vlogs on my channel and I will be doing the same for the rest of my three years at Yale. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in sticking around for, then there is a button down there and it should be, it should be red. And if you press it, it will turn gray and that's good. That is what you want to do. <laughs> um, but either way, uh, if you don't want to subscribe, if you could just like this video, that also really helps me out. Commenting also really helps me out. Or if you don't feel like anything, um, even you just watching to this point in the video has been really helpful for my channel. So thank you so much for getting here. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. I am going to because I'm about to go eat my burrito bowl. Um, so I'm going to go enjoy this. You go enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.